Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it tv or check us out on social media i hope you enjoy the following tutorial let's look next at how to apply an effect to multiple clips and we'll apply the black and white effect to the other three clips i have in my sequence to do this simultaneously, I first select them. I'm just going to draw a little marquee over them there by clicking above one of them and dragging out over the other two. And then if I either drag the effect onto the clips like so, or if I just undo that because they're selected, double click on the effect. As you can see now, that's applied the black and white effect to all of the clips. One thing you might have noticed here is the red bar over the clips. That means that Premiere is now playing this footage back as a preview. In my case, it's loading it up into RAM on my system and playing it back through the memory chips of my Mac. If I had a suitable graphics card installed, I can channel that through the graphics card when I set up my project initially, and it would preview these effects through the graphics card. If you have that option, it's worth doing. You get better performance, you get more effects playing back at full frame rate and full resolution, and your rendering times for effects, if you do need to render any effects, is quicker. The red bar indicates that potentially this is dropping some frames because I've put these effects on. If I was going through the graphics card, I would expect to see a yellow bar above these clips, which means that it's not dropping any frames. However, if I play this sequence back, as you'll see, it fairly happily plays the clips back and doesn't appear to be dropping any frames. Now, as you saw there, I was able to apply an effect to multiple clips simultaneously. What if I want to remove the effects from all of the clips simultaneously? Well, to do this, I first of all again need to select all of the clips. There is then a remove effects option. You can get to this in two places. You can either go to the clip menu and choose remove effects from there, or you can do a right click on any of the selected clips and pick the remove effects option from there. This then opens up this remove effects window. Now I mentioned intrinsic effects before. I'm able to, if I want, to not remove intrinsic effects and just remove added effects. I don't want to remove an intrinsic effect, for example, if I had changed anything, I just untick it here. As I've done nothing to the intrinsic effects here, it's irrelevant. As long as I keep video effects selected, when I hit OK, that will take all of the video effects off. Oh. 